Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes, and we are about to finish the first of our tournaments, this being the tutorial tournament, and this is one that everybody can start off early on in this game, but it is not an easy tournament. Don't Just because it says a tutorial or a beginner's doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Now, right now, I'm not exactly doing wonderfully. <laughs> I mean... I'm sort of up here, I think I'm at third place, yeah. So I have so far won the first of the missions, or first of the uh, competitions at Roach Lake. I did not win in Forest Lake, I came in fifth place. But like I said in uh, the earlier episodes, just because you lose doesn't mean you lose the entire tournament. So it's extremely important that I complete this one in first place. Now what we need to do, we need to determine what's the best fish to go after here at Moose Lake. The best fish here to go for would have to be the sturgeon and the pike. Now whitefish may come in quite large as well, so we will try for that as if we have to, but I think we're gonna focus on pike. I know how to get them, and it just so happens that the sturgeon can be found in the same locations. As you can see, the biggest fish caught here is only 10 pounds, so they don't come monstrous, at least not here. So we are actually starting off in the evening and winter. And I'm going to go ahead and put the depth marker in here so that I can find my way around. And we're going to go ahead and get this started. This is a 45, so we have a little more time to work with. I know where I want to go. I want to go right over here. I want to go deep. Now I do have a large auger because some of these fish can get quite big. I believe this is the peafowl lure and I'm going to use grayscale if I remember correctly that is good for pike, one of the better ones for pike. This is also good for pike. There are several lures very attracted to the pike and we're going to be using this type of presentation because that's what they go for. You can usually get one pike per hole, which I'm going to be trying to do each time I move. And if I get lucky, I might get a really big one. However, it is winter. It's going to freeze up quite often. We just need one big yank. But like I said, we have plenty of time. Okay, we've got something. It's not a monster. There's our pike. Now since we've gotten the pike, now we're going to go ahead and switch our lures. And if I'm not mistaken, it is the Jade Hunter we want. We want to switch this to Glitter. And we want to change it from Meteor to the Africa, which is best for Sturgeon. So we'll be switching back and forth like that. I've got... I got strategy. I got strategy. Okay, let's see if we can't get the attention of a sturgeon. Well, sturgeon tend to go for a less direct approach. They tend to not quite 
side to side, but maybe a little bit of a combination of side to side up and down seems to work really well. It might also help to stop every now and then and kind of let it settle. Give them a chance to go grab it. Okay, we've got something. It's a Xander. Again, not a monster. I think, honestly, I might move in a little bit closer. Let me see here. Let me look at the big map. Oh, wait a minute. That's not where I wanted to go. Right here. Still pretty deep. We're getting the flow down from over here, though. Now I'm going to change back to the other one. We're going to go back to the Indian pea fowl. So we're not worried about numbers, so... Changing things around will benefit us. It's probably a good thing to do. Now I have pulled out some pretty good sized pike here. Up until that 10 pound sturgeon, it, a pike was the biggest fish, so Still a good chance there might be a really big monstrous pike down there. Not a perch. So far... It's not looking good, <laughs> to be honest. Seems like they're hovering over there on that side for some reason. I've caught them there, but nothing that big. I've always got them here. Come on, I need a really big fish here, guys. There we go. That's a little more substantial. It's a pretty decent sized perch, honestly. Come on. Yeah, it looks like we're just getting perched at the moment. Alright, I think what we'll do is we will pull our stakes because I'm not even getting the pike right at the moment. I think he's going where I'm thinking about going. See that little deep spot right there? Right here. Need 
one big fish. There we go. That. That was a decent bite. Wow. That's an amazingly large perch for this area. If I keep getting perch, I might switch to something else to pike go after because it seems like I'm getting more perch. Ah. Well, since I accidentally did that, I might as well check my lures here and see if there's something better than that. I think, was it the silver bike? No. Tiger? No. Jade Hunter? No, it's the sturgeon. Let me see. Maybe it was... Yeah, let's go with the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin has always been a great pike lure. One you can use early on. Use that with a meteor hook. Gray skull attractant. There we go. Now we're talking. There's our pike. That's probably the only one we'll get out of that hole. However, let's go ahead and switch back. Now we'll see if we can't get a sturgeon. Now we'll work on this for a little while. We've still got 32 minutes. Sturgeon are not always the easiest guys to get to bite. Jesus, join us. Ah, we're getting some bream here. They can, they can actually come fairly large, too. Okay. That was a pretty good bite. There you go, guys. There's a sturgeon. There's a sturgeon. Not a big one, but it's sturgeon nonetheless. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. This might be the one. This might be the one. That was a quite the bite. Wow. Now that's a good size bream. This seems to be a pretty good spot. I'm kind of amazed that none of the other players have discovered this, but then I don't know how well they're doing. Yeah, guys, I think we fished this hole out. 
We're going to need to move. There's another spot I'm going to try. I'm going to try right here. See if I'm a little bit further this way. All these are good spots for both pike and sturgeon. And we're gonna go back to the blue beast. Or green goblin, I'm sorry. Always works for the pike. Back to the meteor. One monstrous pike would be our saving grace here. Something bigger than 10 pounds would be nice. Okay. I don't think that's got it. It is the pike, though. Let's go back to our other lure. Which I wanted to see. No, it's not what I thought. Go back to the Jade Hunter. Back to Africa. And to Glitter. I guess we gotta focus on sturgeon again. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was more what I was looking for. Wow, that's a good size Xander. Not quite big enough. Not quite big enough, guys. We're still coming up short on this. Obviously, Xander can come pretty big, too. We're obviously getting the fish here. Brown trout. That's kind of unexpected. Tell you what, guys, we might change one more lure. There is another one here that is good for sturgeon. I think, I can't remember if the Babylonian, no, that's for the, a different one. Let's try this autumn leaves.
All right, something did go for it. Perch. Well, shoot. Looks like we're going to need to move on, guys. Seems to have died out. Dang, got it. This is not making it easy for me, I'll tell you. This is going to be a battle that I'm going to have to fight hard to win. I think this time we're going to come over here. See if we can't get something right here. We're going to go back to the blue beast or the green. Gosh, was it? Keep wanting to say blue beast, the green goblin. We're gonna go back to the green goblin and the meteor. Oh shoot! I didn't switch over to the Africa. That's not good. That could have been problematic. All right, let's see if we can't get a stir, not a sturgeon, but a pike here. Yeah, the white fish. Means we still have pike here. That bent over pretty good. There we go. Still. Damn. Still not quite as big as I would like him to be. Alright, let's go back to Jade Hunter. Time, let's change the hook to the Africa. We didn't do that last time. That could have been giving us a bit of a problem. I don't know. I mean, I know my way of doing things, and if I don't follow all my okay. Xander. Okay. Did you get another bite here? Not looking good here, guys. It's not looking good. We've got 11 minutes. Just not sure if we've got. We're getting what it's going to take to win this. I'm going to try right here. 
Actually, no. I'm going to try right over here. Hi, bunny rabbit. Right on the edge here of the shelf. Still have 10 minutes, so we've got plenty of time to get back. We can hang out here until... Well, for quite a while, honestly. All right, that's a little bit better. Ugh, keep falling just a little shy of what I want to get. Damn. still get other f fish with that lure, but I just want to increase my odds for getting the sturgeon. This is exactly the setup I caught the largest sturgeon I've ever caught on, and it's not the first one, but the largest was caught off of this. go. We got another one. There you go. Oh, they're not coming very big, though. Two pounders. I mean, come on. <laughs> Literally babies. One pound green. Well, I am catching fish right up to the very end. Yeah, there's not really time to relocate. We're just going to have to hope what we've got is going to be big enough. Just a little over five pounds. That's not that reassuring. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we're just going to have to hope. No idea how everyone else did. 
Apparently he doesn't give a crap. He's gonna fish to the last second. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna this guy's gonna get disqualified. Yeah, maybe not. Uh he's going the wrong way. Whoa, he just made it. <laughs> oh, second place by point two pounds. Oh boy, not so sure. I... No? I still got first place. I got. I guess I did so well in the very first leg of this competition that I was able to pull it ahead. So just because you don't even win the second <laughs> or the third, you can still win. It's basic training. That's what I was thinking was tutorial. I caught 24 fish, 44 pounds of fish, a 5.30 pound pike, 0.02 pound pike beat it, believe it or not. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. I don't know if we'll do another tournament. Or we'll just do another competition, but we'll, you know, go ahead and put something down in the comments below. See what, you know, let me know what you want to see. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.